Welcome, episode 27. So this week, the government have announced a state of emergency due to the high temperatures. So we'll get out in the field, we'll have a look, see how we're getting on, see how we're faring in these high temperatures. Apparently it's gonna hit 40 degrees, but we will see what we get done, who turns up, who doesn't turn up, and uh, we'll have a look, see what's going on in the world of A&D. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new around here, please subscribe. It helps the channel grow and hit the little bell notification. So, without further ado, record temperatures set for this week. It's episode 27. Let's go. Wow, what a hot one. So I am out at East Hanny, which is the Pride and the Job winning site, which you've seen before. It's actually been remarked for a Seal of Excellence award as well. And today is supposed to be a hog roast booked for today. Not sure if it's been cancelled because it's 36 degrees and we have a two and one here. And that's it. And it's 10 past 11. Not one other external trade on here apart from a couple of ground workers uh, so not sure what's happening with the hog roast but anyway so this plot is ready for joist and this is a step zone for the carpenter so he doesn't trash all our work cool idea eh every plot here put them on Gary Gary being the site manager so lovely looking site Will it get a seal of excellence? I think there's only like, I don't know, minimal amounts of them awarded in the industry. So yeah, like 10 or something like that. Uh, but it is a very good site. Definitely worthy of a pride in the job, which it got. Let's see if the hog roast is on board, shall we? <laughs> hog roast in full effect. There we go, courtesy of Vistry Homes, Vistry Cotswolds, for winning pride in the job. Couldn't have picked a hotter day. 36 degrees. <laughs> Who's the catering company? Have a look. The Cotswold Caterer. There you go. Smells delicious. <laughs> so here's Big Gazza behind me. He's priding the job. You've been marked for a seal of excellence as well, Gary, haven't you? Two weeks ago, yep. Two weeks been marked for the seal of excellence, so don't find out till November, Gary. November the 4th. November, so um, courtesy of history. Uh, Cotswolds laid on the old, um, what is this? Pork roast, lamb roast? L lamb, lamb roast. Lamb roast. Uh, it smells delicious, it's a bit hot for me, but uh, thank you very much to Vistry and thank you very much to Gary. Uh, and good turnout from all the trades. Thank you very much, chaps. No worries, thanks, Gary. What do, Gary, what do we get if we win the seal of excellence? Uh, we'll get a beef roast. <laughs> Quick Morton Premier update for you guys. Uh, we've got the scaffold down on one. Uh, the other one is just being roof tiled, so let's have a little look and see how they look with the scaffolding down. This isn't the Morton Premier, but I thought it looked really nice. So I thought I'd show you that. Little bit of uh, snagging and cleaning to do on the finals, but looks lovely. Lovely looking plot, I love the stone. I'll build when I build my own, definitely using stone. Probably be natural stone, if I can afford it. So there it is, scaffold is now down. You can see the combination front door. So, a little bit of an adjustment on it, but anyway. So, two little windows in there. Little camp brick under there we're just doing now. Got the camp bricks in for there, so just setting them round and uh, yeah, but that's how it looks. So, 
lovely plots. Nice two big wave bay windows. And obviously you can see the garage element now. So <coughs> them trusses have now all been spread across. There was a loading bay gate missing here, but there is a handrail across there, guys, just so you know we're safe. Uh, but anyway, so um, now we trusses have been put across here, you know, against the lead work. Uh, we can fill that section in there, and then there's a window in here as well. And that forms the um, sort of um, annex section. See if we can get in there and have a look, shall we? It's the camp brick sills. Just going around, look nice. One on the entrance as well, and one on that side. But yeah, big old plot. Look at the, look at the ceiling height. Lovely, it's huge. I mean, look at this for a room. Excuse the light. Look at lovely big bifolds. One, two, three, four, four meter bifolds. Lovely. It's your kitchen dining area so it's kitchen sink over here uh, and then you can use this area for whatever you want lovely winding staircase lovely huge big rooms I mean this place is huge but this is my favorite part so this now leads, as you come up your stairs, this now leads into uh, like another bathroom and it's got an ensuite and stuff in there. So this will all be filled in now. It will all be floored uh, and insulated. And then that becomes a little piece of paradise. Yeah, so I think it's two ensuites, um, one family, family bathroom, as well as the downstairs loo, obviously. If I remember rightly, this is the office, which is, which actually is where I got my desk from in the old show home on another job in the same house type. But this is my favorite area. This is my favorite room. Favorite room with the big bifold and your kitchen. I mean, you'd spend the majority of your time in here. So it's obviously just being cleared up now, uh, pre-plasters and stuff. Uh, going on so awesome I'll keep you updated guys day 78 on the extension I'm only joking it's day 6 I think joister on steels are in for the garage we've got my brother Liam my brother Carl my boy Charlie and we've got Mr Ted Baker and we've got Giuseppe so we are challenged with doing the parapet on the rear bit of the extension and then we've got to do the van lift or the third lift on the side extension for a little look round and uh, see what we can get done today. So, excellent bit of scaffolding. Uh, joists are on. The um, roof on there with a lantern in it is are done and then uh, we've got to build a parapet wall round here. Now, so we've got to bring this up to level now the scaffolding's been finished. Um, so, yeah, get on with it, see if we can get it done. the underside of the windows and we've also got the back parapet complete as well we can't do the plate on the garage because they don't know the detail but other than that all done so good shift from the boys today um, hard graft hard going it's not the easiest job it's not the easy, easiest environment to work in uh, it's not particularly clean and tidy but anyway we got it done give you a quick tour see what we have accomplished so this is the 
extension on the main house. There's Mr. Ted, good shift from in today. Uh, this is the extension, the block work on the main house. This is the flue that goes up, um, or the chimney that takes the flue for the log burner. Uh, and then we come round to the back. And then we've got um, the single story extension with a roof lantern in the middle of this bit here. And then we've got a coping that goes along here. And here is a hopper. So fair play to Giuseppe. He's pretty much done all that today uh, by himself, single handedly. Uh, and then that's the back. So it's all going to be rendered. Uh, and then just the coping detail to go another. Uh, hopper down at the opposite end so this is the hopper so it steps down in here this is all now going to be uh, membraned and tanked by a specialist company here's the roof lantern and that's the third lift done so up to wall plate uh, next lift and that's it Own in come on peppy get them closer this time what do you mean right that's a wrap Episode, what episode are we on, lads? 85, 27. 20, Liam knows. Episode 27. This is 28. That's a wrap. We'll see you next week. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We're up to plate next week. Well done, boys. Good shift. Well done.